Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and today is Thursday, February 29th. We get an extra day this month, leap year. So let's see what today's energy is all about. Two cards are out. One more card to go. I hope everybody's having a good week. Um, and that things are kind of falling into place. You're getting some answers or things are kind of leveling out. Um, I'm starting to feel that way. Like I, I'm feeling like there is um, just things aren't as intense as they were last week. Um, hopefully you're feeling the same. All right, so let's see what we got going on. So we have a two of swords in reverse. We have the star card and the queen of wands. Yeah, I, I kind of mentioned, um, you know, I was hoping everyone does isn't, isn't feeling the intensity this week like it was last week. Um, and I think with this two of swords, uh, with it being reversed, there is this decision making process, maybe some, maybe still difficult to meet, see decisions. Or, or, or to make decisions or to see the outcomes because um, it's telling us to have faith with this star card, to trust, to have faith, to allow the situation to unfold in a very organic type of way. And this Queen of Wands wants us to use our personal power, our internal energy to uh, see see our way through this process. It, it wants us to use our personal power to, to help us make decisions. It wants us to have faith in ourselves, in our source, whoever we believe in. It wants us to, uh, you know, flex that solar plex, plexus muscle to make decisions using our personal power. I feel like this is a very personal power type of reading. And maybe that's why in the, in the very beginning of it, I was kind of like this week may not be as intense as it was last week, but we're still trying to make some important decisions in our life. And this two of swords can be part of that important decision making and maybe not to rush into the decision making just yet with this card being in reverse there there needs to allow some time we need to have faith in the process trust the process as we go through this time and allow things to unfold so that we can see it more clearly and make better decisions um, better choices also um so i kind of want to I keep looking at this star dragon card oracle again, and um, with it, we have a star here. I, my eyes went right to the star dragon card. So let's see what the star dragon card wants to say today. Oop, card just flew out. It says resilience, finding your limits. Yeah, pushing ourselves, being resilient through the face of adversity, um, and really pushing through to allow things to unfold and pushing ourselves to make the best decision and choice. And here's the, the best part about this is I keep telling everyone all week is you can make one choice and then guess what? You can make another choice. If you find out that the original choice you made was not the best and you, there's still time to make decisions and, and change things, you, guess what? You can change it again because that's within your personal power. You can make a change again. If that's something you don't, if there's something you don't like, guess what? You can change it in that moment. You can change it to a different situation or a different story. And that's, that's your personal power. So the resilience here is still pushing through this adversity we're feeling energetic wise making choices getting through difficult times challenges again i always say challenges and difficulties are opportunities for growth they're opportunities to learn more about yourself how you handle things uh, opportunities to learn more about other people and how you want to entertain them so there is something to be said with challenges and difficulties they help us evolve all right finding your personal power finding your limits this is what it, it you know what i didn't even notice but look 
it's right there where the solar plexus energy is at. So yes, solar plexus, finding your power, finding your limits, being resilient in the face of adversity. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.